Kate Middleton may want to add, Duchess of Disdain, to her already long list of royal titles. Royal biographer Tom Bauer claimed that the Princess of Wales was angry with the newly crowned Queen over the guest list for King Charles's coronation on May 6 and refused to curtsy for the monarch as she left Westminster Abbey. Appearing on Dan Wooten Tonight, on Tuesday, Bauer, 76, claimed that Middleton, 41, and her husband, Prince William, 40, were not happy because the princess was able to invite only four of her family members while Camilla, 75, had 20 people present. The Post reached out to the Princess of Wales and Buckingham Palace for comment. The author further revealed that the people who helped change Camilla's image from the king's mistress to queen were also snubbed from the high-profile event. Camilla brought 20 Parker Bowleses to the coronation and there were four Middletons, Bauer said on the show, later confirming that both of Middleton's siblings were not allowed to bring their partners. If you look at the coronation footage, as the king and queen leave the thrones and head for the exit of Westminster Abbey, continued Bauer, you'll see that everyone bows and curtsies to the king and no one moves a limb, a muscle, when Camilla passes. And that's because they were angry with Camilla. Bauer went on to explain that the anger at the monarch was palpable throughout the venue. All the people that helped Camilla get the crown on her head were excluded from that coronation, and they were furious, Bauer claimed. Kate and William were angry too. That anger went right through that small part of the congregation by the throne, at the centre of Westminster Abbey. And in that moment it was absolutely noticeable to those people who had been excluded that nobody, let alone Kate, curtsied to Queen Camilla, added Bauer. The tension with her stepmother-in-law persisted through the next day's coronation concert, which was held in front of 20,000 people. And what was even more noticeable was, at the Windsor concert the following day, William makes no reference to Queen Camilla, in his speech. So there is a tension there, said the author. Bauer stated that the event had taken a toll on the former Duchess of Cornwall and that in the weeks preceding the glamorous event, Camilla appeared to be exhausted. The whole problem with Camilla is that she's exhausted at the moment, said Bauer. Those who met her in the weeks before the coronation noticed a very tired, very worn-out woman with telltale signs of age, and she's clearly exhausted by the whole thing. This is not the first time the new queen has been accused of pushing people away. Royal expert Christopher Anderson claimed Wednesday that Camilla further alienated Prince Harry, 38, from his father. According to the King, the life of Charles III author, Camilla has been using this nonsensical, but they're no longer working royals argument to continue to isolate Charles, 74, from his younger son. I think every time the king considers handing Harry an olive branch, Camilla makes sure Charles is reminded of all the terrible things written about her in Spare, Harry's memoir that was published earlier this year, said Anderson.